There are many historical misconceptions you've probably believed since you were eating Lego bricks as a child, so I've created a list of the most interesting history facts that are straight up wrong. Fact 1. Ninjas only wore black. When I was younger, I used to watch a lot of TV. One thing that always stood out to me was that all ninjas wore black suits and masks. No matter if it was a random 80s movie or those weird monkeys from Kim Possible, they always looked like they could be part of a UK drill music video. But in reality, things were completely different. The Japanese term ninja means the one who is invisible. They were highly skilled individuals, trained to gather information on enemies and carry out assassinations when necessary. Now imagine you were the target of a ninja. If you saw someone running around Hello. like this, wouldn't you be suspicious? <coughs> yep, looks totally invisible to me. In fact, they were called the invisible ones because they're usually dressed as everyday people or other samurai. However, what is true is that ninjas were also specialized in infiltrating areas at night. During those missions, they wore camouflage suits, but they weren't black. They were blue because blue was harder to spot at night. <laughs> the concept of ninjas wearing black traces back to Japanese kabuki theaters in the 18th century, specifically to the Kuroko. These were backstage actors who created special effects. To convey their hidden presence to the audience, they wore all black costumes. As a result, the image of stealthy ninjas also wearing black was born. Fact 2. Napoleon was short. He was a towering figure of historical significance, revered by every French citizen as a symbol of national pride, the reaper of French monarchy. Oh, 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 you good, bro? A fearless and ruthless conqueror who marched victorious through countless foreign lands. His name alone inspired fear and admiration. Of course I'm talking about him! Oh, you cannot see him. I forgot to buckle him into his child seat. He is too short to fit on the screen. Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of the French. Napoleon is often portrayed as an angry little Frenchman, which has led to the creation of the term Napoleon Complex, used to describe individuals of short stature who exhibit overly aggressive behavior in social situations. But Napoleon wasn't quite as short. He was measured as 5 foot 2 using the French measuring system. It's worth noting, however, that the French inch was 2.7 centimeters at the time, whereas the imperial inch was slightly shorter at 2.54 centimeters. According to the French measurement system, that would be 1.67 meters, equivalent to just under 5 foot 6. This height was slightly above average for a man in France during the early 1800s. Why am I even telling you all of this? Truth is, life is all about bitches, and Napoleon certainly didn't pull any bitches because he wasn't at least six feet tall. Okay, okay, calm down, guys. I'm not the first person to diss Napoleon. This is James Gilray, a British cartoonist and probably one of the biggest trolls in history. He created many cartoons depicting Napoleon as an angry little character with a big ego. Gilray's illustration of the French general was so popular that towards the end of his life, Napoleon said, quote, Gilray did more than all the armies of Europe to bring me down. Fact three, Vikings wore horned helmets. Can you hear the howling winds of the North? sweeping across the shores of ancient Scandinavia, a mysterious place in the heart of the Baltic Sea, defined by the snow-capped peaks of its towering mountains, emerald forests and their verdant depths teeming with life. Hell no, man. What the fuck? Between the years 793 and 1066 AD, the sons of Odin ruled over this ancient realm. They were a fearsome group of men, roaming the seas with no permanent residence. Their appearance was terrifying, adorned in ragged clothing with piercing cold gazes and unkempt beards. These aggressive berserkers would drunkenly raid countless villages, leaving nothing but destruction in their wake. I know exactly what you are thinking right now. Hey, this sounds just like my local crackhead. But no, I'm talking about the Vikings. There are many Viking references in pop culture, from Viking movies to video game characters to entire football teams. However, one iconic symbol remains consistent among them all, the horned helmet. Sadly, there is no historic evidence of Vikings actually wearing horned helmets. This myth originated from the 1876 performance of Der Ring des Nibelungen, an opera about Vikings. Costume designer Carl Emil Doepler probably thought the helmets just looked cool. Fact 4. Jesus was a- Okay, did you really think I was going to say that Jesus was-
And you know what? It's 2023. Maybe he identified as a HP Color LaserJet printer. I don't know, and I don't care. But what I care about is hitting 420 subscribers by the end of the year. So pull subscribe for more dank history.